What's up, Siggy and Hi? This is Wyatt Smith. And Juanita Lozano with the Matt Cash Show for March 24th, 2017. On this episode, we'll have a look at the athletic success of one of your very own peers. On the topic of success, we'll also see what the Seguin softball team has been up to lately. And after that, we'll have a look at next year's schedule. This, this is, is Matt Cast. Sophomore Katrina Bourbon had a week full of practice and sweat. Katrina has been working year long to make her tournaments count on and off the court, so here's her Matador spotlight. My name is Katrina Bourbon. I've been playing tennis for five and a half years. I started playing tennis in the summer of sixth grade. I came to the Matador tennis camp that they had at the high school, and I was kind of the worst one there, and so I don't like being bad at things. I kind of took on that. I was like, I want to be really good at tennis, and so I stuck with it. USTA is the United States Tennis Association. It's basically just like a program for the entire United States for kids that want to play tennis. And you have different levels and you have different age divisions. So I just moved up after I won my last tournament. This last tournament, I was in a draw of 32 people. I, I was seated number one because I was ranked number one in the division. And so going in, I was like the I had the big target on my back that, you know, because in USCA, the number one seed is never really supposed to win. And so you have that target on your back where you have to do well and you have to go out there and kick butt. I've been playing USCA for about a year now. And like earlier in the year when I had first started, I won two tournaments and they were both in Austin. And those were both just open tournaments. And so it was kind of like, I played them as warm up tournaments for my like more major tournaments that would help me go up a division. And so when I won those, it was kind of like, oh, okay, my hard work's paying off. But when I won my last tournament, I literally like fell on the court and cried because that's what I had been working so hard for. And I had finally done it. Like I cried after my semis match and I cried after my finals match. And it was just really emotional because I worked so hard for that. But my record in USDA as of right now is 27 and 23, which is only plus four positive. But that's over like 50 matches. And for only playing for a year, that's a lot. And it doesn't feel like I've taken 23 losses. It feels more like four. But like every with every loss, I've come back stronger and I've done a lot better. And my private coach is just so good to me and pushes me every day to just get out there and kick everybody's butt and show no mercy. <laughs> my biggest role model right now would have to be my private coach because he always tells me like the struggles he had to go through when he was playing tennis and how he made it onto the pro tour and how you know he just did so well and that inspires me just just because I've started out and I want to make it big and hearing what he's gone through and that he made it big is kind of like I want to do that too. <laughs> now Katrina wasn't the only one practicing during the break. The Seguin High School softball team has been in full swing preparing to go to district. These girls have put in a lot of work and effort making their team as good as possible. Here's Eric and Kinnon with the inside scoop on the softball team. Kaizen is uh, it's a Japanese word and loosely translated it means excellence through continuous improvement. The correct spelling is with, a, with an E, but we use it with an A. It kind of gives it our own little flavor there, uh, and it makes it our own word. Some of the things we do in practice to improve upon our skills and our teamwork, just a lot of fundamental stuff. Uh, Kaizen is not only a word, but it's also a, a, a group of skills that we use for mostly our infielders, uh, so they can work on, on catching ground balls and uh, keeping their head on the ball, that sort of thing, getting rid of the ball quick. We do a lot of hitting um, during our practices. Sometimes they're the entire practice. We focus a lot on bunting and swinging away so that we can keep the defense off their feet a little bit. And so no one knows how to play us or no one knows what to expect whenever one of us comes up to the plate. The team has improved from the beginning of the year until now. Uh, just with our skills and, and being a team and teamwork and learning to get along on the field and learning to communicate. 
Softball's brought us so close together because a lot of us have been playing together since we were five and six years old. And if we weren't playing against each or playing with each other, we were playing against each other. So I can say for at least the majority of the team that it most certainly did bring us together like a family because we all are so close and we spend almost 24 seven together. Softball teaches you a lot of things. It teaches you discipline because not all the time is the, not all the time the call is gonna go in your favor. And I mean, you can't just like argue with the ref. So you have to have discipline. It teaches you how to juggle things because yes, you do have homework and then you have practice and then you have games. So you just have to continuously juggle all of that. We try to teach the kids things that relate to life when it comes to softball so that when they leave here, they'll be better prepared to be better adults. Uh, we do a lot of things like as far as being accountable, uh, as far as uh, consequences, that sort of thing, just like they're going to get in life. We try to stay on top of that. We also try to stay on top of their grades and their behavior in the classroom so that they will be successful in the classroom so that they can continue their education throughout their life. As the year ends, most of you have probably selected your new classes for next year. With these classes come change. Here's a little more information and details on what to expect for the 2017-2018 school year. A decision has been made the next school year there will be changes to the high school belt schedule. The number of periods will decrease from 8 to 7, making classes longer. Here's how some people feel about the change. Hello, Mr. Esquivel, Seguin High School Principal. The first major change we're going to have is we are going from an 8 period to a 7 period schedule. Uh, what that entails is more time for each period. Instead of having 47 minutes, we're going to have 55 minutes per class. I think having more time in the classroom will help our teachers, uh, first of all, to be able to plan uh, longer lessons, be able to close lessons, help students who don't understand. Uh, instead of buzzing through 47 minutes, we'll have a little bit more time to work with the kids or just have extra time to do different things that are normally done, not done in a 47 minute class. We looked at different models in different schools uh, and we found out that most schools actually use seven periods instead of eight. Very few campuses still use eight periods. I think the biggest pro for the students is that they have one less class. Instead of having eight, they'll have seven periods and uh, that's one less class you'll have homework in or that you're responsible for. I'm Kaylin Casey, I'm a junior. The new schedule is probably going to affect me most because of the endorsement I'm under. Um, it being only seven class periods, I'll have a class that's going to be two periods long. So it's going to be longer class periods and that's going to be kind of annoying. Hi, my name is Michael Grandis and I'm going to be a senior next year. The new schedule next year is going to be a little rough because we're switching from eight periods to seven periods. And some students, we're going to, we, we don't have enough room for all the classes we want to take. Switching to seven periods, I really don't think it's a good idea because I'm sure there, if I'm having a problem with the schedule change, there's going to be other students too that are going to be missing out on classes they want to take. That's it for this MatCast. This has been Wyatt Smith and Juanita Lozano. Have, have a, a great, great weekend, weekend SHS. SHS. And this, this is, is MatCast. Stop moving. What's up, Seguin? Three, two, one. What's up, Seguin? Wait, start over. Three, two. On this episode, we'll take you into the success of one of your very own peers, Katrina Bourbon. <laughs> I thought you weren't going to say Katrina Bourbon. Why would I not say Katrina Bourbon? You That's it for this. Ready? Three, two. That's it for this. That's it for this SHS. Three, two, one. Well, most of you stop looking at me. Now, Katrina. You know, I'm like a book to stand Am on. I good? I'm not tall enough. <laughs> Why is it even called softball? It's not a softball. It's pretty hard. This is Wyatt Smith. And Juanita Lozano for your... What? What's up, Seguin High? This is Wyatt Smith. And Juanita... <laughs> I did not think you can do Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, you're, you're making fun of me for not being able to do it. She's laughing at me because I'm...